Wow, look at this super cool and amazing, super cool, amazing scratch project that Griff Patch made. It's so cool and amazing. I want to make this myself. Let me go see if anyone made a 3D city tutorial for scratch. Uh, let me go scratch. And let's see if anyone made it. Griff Patch. Now these are. It's, it's, uh, it's not what we want. We want a top down. No, that's not. It's not at all what we want. That's. The first step in making any scratch game is obliterating the scratch cat from existence. The next step after dropping a 30 ton nuke on the scratch cat is obviously to make a player. So let's make a car. Something you want to make sure whenever you're making your absolutely majestic car is make sure it's facing towards the right. That way the direction code later doesn't get messed up. Nice. Now we're also going to want to make a map. So let's make a background first. This is going to be the background, background, background. So we can, I like blue, blue is a great color, absolutely delectable. So we can put blue um, as the background, but it's also like half salt. So we're gonna wanna make it dark, dark blue. Yeah, dark blue, nice, but also like that. I don't know the colors, it'll look good eventually, hopefully. Um, now we're gonna make the map and we can make this lighter blue. So I like to do it all within the same color. Um, with variations of the brightness and saturation, but you can do whatever you want. I don't care. I have no control over you Now that you have your majestic map, which we could fix later uh, <laughs> We gonna go in the code and do the following code in a new sprite because um, we're making collision code and this thing will Clip onto everything and horrible collision. So for this we'll just go into this player. Honestly, we, we have to name a player And copy the uh, dude, then go into the snooze sprite, and we can call this hitbox. Paste it in, zoom in, and find you know, like the middle ish area. And I have to put the mic down, hold on, uh, and shift click to create a perfect square. And I want to put it into the center, and everything else can be deleted from this plane of existence. So, go hand with that. Now you should only have the square. And then we're going to go into the code and do this. Go to, and then we can do zero, zero, the center of the screen. And grab a set size to 100. Uh, now, it'll go to zero, zero. And in the player, don't worry, lag clicked forever. And... Go to the hitbox. Now the uh, also for the hitbox, we're gonna go ahead and set ghost effect to be 100. And now it's invisible. We're also gonna set up forever if, and we're gonna do some movement code so if key we're gonna do WASD because that's better uh, if key W pressed now instead of doing a normal movement we're actually gonna want to be doing directional movement so moving clicking W will move you forward but clicking A or D will turn you but before we do this we're also gonna want to set the rotation style to don't rotate to avoid clipping. So if key W pressed, we are going to actually, let's duplicate this. If key S, where is it? And leave that blank and we are gonna make if key A press and if key D pressed and do turn 15 we can uh, let's do five no seven and over here we'll do turn minus seven degrees now we're also going to make a block 
this one we can call change x by and then do the circle and do x so put this in the w and here we're gonna do oh before i forget we have to pick two variables first one will be called for all sprites scroll x and the next one will be called for all sprites scroll y you can set scroll x in the beginning and scroll y to zero so we start in the middle of map we'll change x by so first we're going to actually do go to x and for the y do zero then do if not touching uh, we're going to do sprite 2 because I didn't rename it. let's rename that actually and I'm going to call this map if not touching map change scroll x by x and at, over here we're going to do another go to zero zero and we're going to do another one call this one change y by y and because we have all of this code we can actually duplicate most of it replace all the x's with y's So change y by y over here and change scroll y by y and put this over here and then grab that and put it here. Now we're going to do some fun science code. It's not even a good thing, but uh, we're because we want this to be directional. Oh, right. If it's directional, you have to do point in direction 90 at the start over here. Um, we have to do cosine and sine. To find the movement of directions i don't really understand the math behind it i should but we're going to cosine of go into motion get direction oh this should be sine and how this is however fast we want to move so we can do five and we can i'm going to set this to five as well Duplicate these two and set this to cosine. Duplicate the whole thing, put it into S, and set these to negative. But running the script, nothing will happen if we do anything. And that's for a lot of reasons, actually. I'm going to center this. But the biggest one is that we don't have, like, movement. So uh, when green fat flag click forever, go to and grab a minus. We'll do zero here. Zero here. Scroll X and scroll Y. Clicking the green flag now, we have a car. But because we can't see the direction, when it says in the player sprite, we're also going to want to do point in direction. Go into sensing. Grab out backdrop of stage. And replace stage with hitbox. And exposition with direction. And now... Moving around with WASD, we can move around with this goofy car. Awesome. But you may notice this isn't 3D, which is bad. We want 3D. So let's make it 3D. So duplicate the map, and we'll call this one Map 3D. And we have to do a couple things in a costume. Like name this one. But duplicate this 
and set everything to white. I like to have five layers, so also I'm going to make this building shorter so after the third layer disappears. And they should be alternating between white. And if you do delete a building, make sure it's gone on all layers. So I have five, this is costume one. Uh, blue, white, blue, white, blue. Now, delete this stupid code and we're gonna also set the size to 100. And this time, we are going to switch costume to <clears throat> and I'm switch costume block. Uh, now we're going to create a bl uh, block. This is called create 3D. Run without screen refresh, very important. Now clicking OK. What we're going to do here is we're going to create clone of myself in create 3D. Um, switch costume to 1. And then we're going to repeat 4 repeat four and at over here we're going to do for this one change size by two and for this one we're going to do next costume oh five for this and of course oops this great glow myself put it over here and now click and create 3d we'll notice nothing like happens as for plentiful reasons. First of all, we are not using Create 3D. And also grab in A when I start the phone block. And just do show. And over here do hide. And putting this in, it looks 3D, but yeah, so we're gonna wanna fix that. So we're gonna grab forever. And <coughs> go to, and then this is very important, I have to pull up my notes. Go to uh, grab the subtraction. Put zero here, zero here, division, division, and I'm going to write 200, because I like that number, and other reasons, but uh, multiplication here, multiplication here, and we're going to get the size in one of them for both, and in the other for x, we'll do scroll x, and for y, we do scroll y, and now, moving around, it looks 3D, but the other squares aren't centered. And that's because they're using different um, scrolling codes. So just grab this and drag it into the map. Delete this boring old code, replace it with this juggernaut 3D code. And clicking the green flag, it looks awesome. But I'm just going to set the ghost effect to be 100 so that I don't have to look at it. It's ugly. And now we have a 3D city. Kind of. It looks pretty bad. Let's do some art time. One thing you're gonna wanna do is if you add a floor to your map by editing the one, number one costume in your map 3D sprite, you're going to want to go into the player and go ahead and grab a go to front layer block. That way your car appears on top of the 3D city. Well, I hope you enjoyed that because that's how you make a 3D city in Scratch. Griff Patch wouldn't do it, so I did. See? I'll do part two at 50 likes where I'll show you how to add shadows and other cars that you can bonk into.